Hello and welcome to BuildBox. In this quick video, we want to explore some of the basic options available for power-ups within your BuildBox game. So I'll go over to the Actions section in the Asset Bar, and I'll select the power-up that we've added to our game. Now over here on the right, we have several different options. First, we have the name, and this is just the name that we use for organization purposes. This won't be seen by your end user, it won't show up in your game, so you can name this whatever works best for your organization scheme. I've just named this Power Up, and I think that works pretty well. Next, we have the collision shape, and if I click Edit, we can adjust this collision shape, and this is the hit zone for the Power Up. Now the default is to set up as a square polygon, but this is a circle, so I'm going to change this to a circular hit zone using this drop down, and then I'm just going to adjust the hit zone so that it takes up the entire image area, so that whenever the character touches any part of the image, that would count as touching and unlocking the power up. So I'll go ahead and close this out. Then we have the default animation. Now this could be a still image, or it can be an animated PNG sequence. And either way, if you want to replace the default animation, you could just drag and drop a new image or image sequence here to this box. And you can make further adjustments to the animation using this edit button and then refining that animation further. Next, we can choose the power up type. So from this drop down, I can choose what function this power up serves. I can leave it set to none, which means that it doesn't serve any purpose as a power up, it doesn't do anything. I can set it to a coin which means that it would function as a coin for in-game currency. I can set it to kill all enemies, which would kill all moving enemies on the screen. Invincibility makes the character invincible. Power-up magnet causes the character to attract all power-ups. Strike is a power-up that's assigned to a button, and the character kills anything that it touches when strike is activated. We can also set this as a checkpoint, take the character to the next checkpoint, have this power-up serve as a restart checkpoint, change the gameplay, or even end the game. So those are the basic options available for power-ups, and in our next video, we'll explore some of the more advanced options.